Harry Davis says, you need to keep the beard and braid it like a dwarf. Oh, what do you think? I did, I tried. I did my best. I got a big braid here, a little Gimli inspired braid. And I get these two little ones, and it makes my mustache look huge. Because this is actually part of my beard. And then I just swirled my mustache into it, but don't tell anybody. It's real important. <laughs> the joke is that I'm telling, don't tell anybody, to at least a hundred people that are going to watch this. You get it? What do you think about my brains? Isaac Fox asks, Hey, this is just a random question. Are you hipped for... Are you... Are you hip... It's H-Y-P-E-D. Are you hyped for the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2? I, um... Forgot it was coming out. Super hyped. No, I really enjoyed playing the first one. I played the first one with, uh... Modi, Jay Beetle, and Flandry back in the day. Uh, a while ago. When we were still uh, doing some playthroughs and recording together. And it was a lot of fun, but now I don't really have... I wouldn't have anybody to play with, and it would just be me playing on my own. It doesn't seem as fun. Um, but it, it's a really fun game, and I'm sure that the sequel is just as fun, or even more so, you know? Um, so, uh, on with the show! I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get that back. Hello! Welcome to Hats Off! I'm Nook, and this is... How do I start these? Fling the hat. Hello! I'm Nook, and welcome to Hats Off! I think that's it. So I've got a little bit of stuff to cover this week. I woke up and I was like, it's Monday, you know what that means, it's time for that Wednesday hats off video. <laughs> um, no, I really enjoy doing these on Monday, it kind of updates people for the week. Um, also gives me something to do on Monday, I like it, it's, it's nice, it's different, it's fun. I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, so as you may know, this past Saturday, I released a new guide all about Piper and Fallout 4, so if you've been waiting on that one, Amiborg, there it is. And actually, Amiborg, I already know you watched it because you commented and we talked. It's fun. Um, yeah, so go check that one out. I've had a couple people tell me already that it was really good and really fun, even though I wasn't super crazy about it by the time I was done with it. I was like, oh man, I feel like I could have done more with it, but... Um, people are just happy that I can make something so boring <laughs> into something entertaining. You know, a guide video that's also entertaining. And I'm, I'm glad that I've hit that mark because that's exactly what I wanted to do with my guides. Is I don't, I like entertaining people. I like making people smile. But I've also got this, I'm the son of an engineer and a long line of musicians. And those are like the two sides of the family that have met. And so my brain is just like, must art, must build clocks. I'm glad that I've been able to walk that line and use both sides of my brain uh, in order to make those guides informative and entertaining. Because that's, that's what I really wanted to do, like I said. So go watch that. There's more guides to come. I'm getting a game later this week that I'm going to cover in some capacity uh, because it's very, very close to my heart. And... You should probably be able to figure that out. And it actually leads me to my next point, which is I'm working on a new series. I mentioned it last week. I wanted to keep it secret until it was like ready, ready to be announced. And it's not really, but I've been working on it. So it is, but it's not, whatever. By the end of March, <laughs> I'm braiding my fingers for this one. By the end of March, I'm hoping to have my first video up in a monthly series that's going to be an explained video. I really enjoyed doing the Batman Arkham Knight Explained. It was a ton of fun. Um, and the new series will be similar, but not as much live action. I'm planning on animating a little bit of it because I'm actually really enjoying animating. And I think that I'd like to keep my live stuff to... Uh, to just hats off so we can get to know each other a little bit and then when you go into the explain there's a little character that'll help you out with all the explanations and stuff um yeah so my first one is actually on the game that's coming out this week and i'll just let you guys uh have fun with that but uh yeah like i said i kind of leaked <laughs> i leaked the information about uh the new Explained series early last week on my Twitter account, so if you follow me on Twitter, you might have already seen this coming, you already, might have already known, um, but I released a new intro that says Nook and Cranny Explained, really big and bold below it, and I love the logo, it 
took me forever to put together, but I'm, I'm really happy with it. And um, actually, if you watch the guide on Sunday, there's a new intro, and it says Nook and Cranny Guide. And I think I'm going to start doing that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. There's a new monthly series coming. I need to do something bigger for the channel, something that's a little bit more unique to uh, us here at Nook and Cranny, except for the guides, alongside the guides. Um, so the, the guides will not stop. The guides will keep on going. I really want to add more games to the roster, but Fallout 4 I've kind of fallen into a groove with, you know, and it's really, I found it really easy to cover those guides and to make them make sense and to put them out, and so that's why Fallout has been the only game, because I keep looking at other games and I'm like, oh man, it's just going to take a whole other chunk of time to get in there and be like, okay, this is how I can record this to make it cohesive, this is how I can, re you know, record this to make it... Uh, fit together and all this stuff and also I've got the following on PS4 not PC so uh, with the PC and Fallout 4 I can use console commands and make really cool camera shots or you know if I need to have a save state reloaded like right now there's a guide that I want to do for the following but I've already gotten past the point and I didn't know that I would need the footage for this mission like I was just doing the mission and at the end of it it was like here's a really cool thing but it's only on a side mission so people probably aren't going to do it um, so I, I really want to make a guide for that, but it's already saved over, so it's like, do I just wipe everything and start from the beginning? Like, that's gonna take me for- You know what, I'm, I'm babbling. Anyway, Explained is coming, and I am gonna do my best to make it a monthly series. Um, and I say make my, you know, do my best because I have an interview tomorrow, so... We'll see what comes of that. And even though I've said, like, you know, my job, uh, getting a job will help, it will help my sanity, because then I'll have money to pay for, you know, rent and bills. <laughs> um, but also, like, it'll help me structure my time, which will be great for streaming, but it also means that it takes up a lot of my time, which doesn't help when it comes to animating and um, making a monthly video and stuff like that. So it's just like, it's, there's just going to be a lot of reworking of time, which is why streams haven't started up. There's just a lot of stuff that's kind of like wibbly wobbly right now that I need to straighten out. Hoping that, uh, this interview goes well. I'm excited about it. And maybe that'll lead to more, uh, more guides, more videos, more streams. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I leaked the explained stuff on Twitter, so if you're following me on Twitter already, you probably saw it. If not, then whatever, it's fine. Go find it. If you're not following me on Twitter, I mention this every once in a while, but I'm doing a Choose Your Own Adventure uh, poll. It's a daily adventure. We started off in the snowy mountains, and everybody almost died, and then uh, got whisked off into a letter through some like magical portal, and then spat back out in the mountain once she found out, the person that's in the letter found out who you were, and she said, go light the beacon. You have to go warn people about what's coming. And then um, they chose not to, <laughs> and everybody went into this cave that ended up being a giant worm, and everyone, well... We'll find out exactly what happened in there later, but right now we're in a random town after blacking out in that cave, so we'll uh, we'll see what is to come of it, and you guys should go join. Go follow me on Twitter and uh, go vote in the poll. It's a lot of fun. The other thing is I keep talking about all these projects I've been a part of, and I can't talk about them, and blah, blah, blah. Well, the time's come. I can, I'm going to tell you about them. Um, the first big thing that was happening during the move was a uh, Dark Souls trailer competition. And myself, Terra Mantis, and Snips worked together uh, kind of in the style of the Destiny animated video we did a while back. We made a Dark Souls trailer video that Terra Mantis wrote, uh, Snips did the art for, I animated, and then he did all the sound and editing. And um, yeah, it turned out awesome. And we're super, super proud of it. And we're still waiting for the results to come back, which is really odd because the competition ended like two weeks ago or something like that now. It's called My Dark Souls Story. I'll put a link here or down below, wherever. And uh, you can go check that out. I encourage you to go watch it. It was really, really fun to do, and it looks badass. It is really, really good. Uh, super proud of it. And then as soon as that got done, uh, we did a... A commercial for Crunchyroll. Uh, Terra Mantis again got an offer to do that because he's a bigger channel and gets the attention and all that stuff. So um, 
he wanted to do something in the, like a retro, you know, Fallout commercial type of thing. Like an old uh, Fallout, not actually the Fallout the game, but an old Fallout video about like nuclear Fallout and things like that. So we made this commercial for Crunchyroll, which again turned out hilarious and really, really good. And that should be going up on his channel very soon, within the next couple days, maybe today even. Uh, and once that does go up, I'll put a link here, but right now it's not. Unless there's a link here, then it is. <laughs> but it's at the back end of a new 10 Things video that he did on Dying Light the following. So if you're interested in Dying Light, go watch it. If you just want to go see the animation, go watch it anyways. Uh, he, he works hard on the 10 Things videos, and we worked our asses off on the... Uh, on the commercial, so I definitely think you should go and uh, give us a little support. Just go and say like, hey, we're from Nook and Cranny. I guess that's it. I've, I, like I said, I got this interview tomorrow, so I'm kind of preparing for that. Let me know what you think about my little braids that I did, my gigantic mustache illusion. Uh, I I worked on this for like an hour. I, was, I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna do hats off. And then I remembered that old Harry Davis was like, you should keep your beard, not trim it, and do dwarven braids. I was like, that's a fantastic idea. So I remembered that, and I was like, all right, I don't want to take too long to do this, but I'll give myself an hour. So I went upstairs and showered and got washed and prepared the beard, and then got ready um, and, and braided it. And I, I looked online at pictures of Gimli. This one's actually uh, inspired by Gimli, because the braid in his, in his big beard is like way lower. Like, it's all beard, and then the braid happens down here. So I like that, where it's like just beard and a little braid. And then... Uh, yeah, I just kind of played around with it. I This is the fourth style that I went with. I went through four variations. My hands hurt <laughs> from braiding so much. But uh, it's... Uh, I, I really like it, actually. I mean, I won't... I'll probably take it out for my interview tomorrow. But it's uh, still... I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, how it turned out. Maybe I'll do this, you know, just randomly on you know, my free time or whatever. Well... That was probably super interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I almost ended this like a guide. If you found the video helpful, let me know down below. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to talk to you. Um, let's let's chat about beard braids and, and video games. And I will see you guys next week.